Almost 5 million Australians are in line for a hip pocket boost this month, with the largest indexation increase in almost 30 years. The age and disability support pensions, along with the carer payment, will rise by almost $39 a fortnight for singles and $59 for couples. Those on parenting payments will also get a boost, but welfare advocates are worried the increases won't be enough. Edwina McDonald is the acting chief executive of the Australian Council of Social Service. He joins us now from Sydney. Edwina McDonald, good morning to you. So uh, how are you treating these increases? Good morning. I mean, I think the first thing is this, is this is a routine indexation increase and we know it's just simply not enough. It's not going anywhere near to what is needed to bring people uh, to, to where they can afford the basics. It's um, it's not even $2 a day. We know people need to be at least $70 a day in order to be able to afford food, medicine, uh, a roof over their heads. Uh, so while every little bit counts when you're you know, struggling to survive on, on income support payments, um, this, is, this is not the increase that we need to see. This is a, a routine uh, indexation increase. It's not even uh, keeping up with, with the costs of inflation at the moment. OK. Uh, you're, you're saying it's routine, but the government is uh, mm. pointing out that uh, for, for a lot of the payments, it's the biggest indexation rise in, in 30 years. So uh, that, that doesn't gel. Yeah. So What's what, going what, on there? What, do you, what yeah. do you say to that uh, line from the government this morning? Well, I mean, the reason why it's the biggest increase is because we've seen a really big increase in inflation. So what this increase is pegged to is CPI. And we've seen this really large CPI increase over the last period. But actually, it's not even keeping up with inflation for people on income support. And there's two reasons for that. The first reason is that the increase is pegged to the first half of the year. So the inflation that we saw in the first half of the year. And we know that in the last quarter, this, this last period up to September, we've seen inflation increasing. So people are still falling behind, even with this increase. And the other factor is that the increase is pegged to, to CPI. And we know that at the June figures, the non-discretionary inflation amount was actually higher than CPI. And when you're living on income support, when you're on job seeker, everything you're spending money on is non-discretionary. You can't afford to be spending money on discretionary items. And so this, this figure, which is designed to keep up with inflation, it's not even doing that at the moment for people on income support. And we know that, the, that, that what they're on already is already so far below what is needed to actually afford the basics, food, medicine, clothing, shelter. I had uh, Claire O'Neill, the Home Affairs Minister, on the show earlier and asked her directly about whether the government would consider a permanent increase in job seeker mm. uh, if they were really serious about tackling these cost of living issues for people on the lowest rung of the ladder. She said uh, there wouldn't be in this budget. It would be next mm. reviewed early next year. Would you like the government to reconsider its position and look at a permanent increase in job seeker in this forthcoming budget in October? Yes, we know that people are just, just absolutely struggling. They're at crisis point at the moment and we need to be able to, to bring people up, to, to be able to live in dignity, to be able to afford the basics. And we need to do it urgently. This is an immediate crisis. As, as everybody feels the increasing costs of living and inflation, people who are trying to survive on, on for job seeker, it's 46, it will now be $48 a day. The people on youth allowance and study, they're not seeing an increase at the moment. They're still on $38 a day. There's no increase for them with this indexation. Their indexation, routine indexation increase happens in January. So we know that this is an immediate crisis point. We know that we've got women living in cars. We know that people have already skipping meals, they're giving up, you know, healthy food. They can't afford fruit and vegetables and meat. They're having to drop that. They're skipping medicine or they're you know, trying to make it go longer so that they don't have to pay for it, um, you know, as frequently as it's actually being prescribed to them. So these are the things that's, that are already happening for people. And this is just uh, a crisis people are facing now that needs action now. Edwina McDonald from ACOS, appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me on.